Things that we just see, everything we believe. We just see everything. This is DBG here and today we got something I was actually really surprised of. It was one of those kind of sample kind of proteins that they give you at when you go to a, a store. It's like, hey, try one of each and maybe later in the future you'll buy it later. But today I got peanut butter chocolate cake by one protein. First off, it's amazing. It tastes exactly what it's trying to promote. Personally, I would rather have it uh, taste a little bit more peanut buttery, but I can't have everything for something that has less than one gram of sugar in this whole thing. But, like I said, this is one of those sample ones, so you can't really uh, get the full uh, bar experience from it, especially since a bar is going to have 20 plus grams of protein. This has eight, so about whatever I say is about two and a half times that. So the flavor is actually amazing. It is a little chewy because it's one of those high fiber kind of bars, uh, dietary fiber. Uh, so I'm not really too shocked about the chewiness because I've had these kind of protein bars before, uh, this brand. But in the single bar, it's about 96, gram, uh, 96 calories, so double that. So we're looking at about 200 calories overall for this specific bar. We're looking at about uh, eight grams of fat, um, about 20 plus grams of carbs, eight plus grams of dietary fiber of those and of course it says one gram of sugar in this thing less than one gram so double that you're looking at probably around one or two grams of sugar which is actually pretty amazing for something it's trying to promote um, I am giving the ingredients as if it's an actual bar you're probably wondering like why don't you just buy the actual bar in the store just because I can get this doesn't mean I can get the regular bar at a regular store just give me a break people Jesus Christ um, so the protein is going to be about 16 to 20 grams of protein. Um, I'm actually really happy about the nutrition in this. This is actually on point kind of protein, especially for the taste I am getting from it. It's phenomenal. Now for the ingredients, we're looking at whey protein, whey isolate protein, pro milk protein base. So it's, it's basically using uh, milk based protein. Anyways, we got fiber, which is that weird isomalto. I rights Pro probiotic fiber from vegetable source. Sorry, that is one hell of a word to say. Uh, vegetable protein, um, fiber, molotol, glycerin, palm kernel oil. Um, I actually have said that this uh, brand has used uh, palm kernel oil in a lot of the other products. So th having that in this one. It's not too much of a shocker, so I'm not really disappointed. Um, of course, right after that is peanuts, good, peanut butter, sunflower seed butter. The hell does that taste like? Uh, cocoa, sprinkles, which is made, has its own stuff, and so on and so forth. What the, really, seriously, what does sunflower peanut, sunflower butter taste like? I'm actually gonna buy that and try it out. It's probably for those people who are actually probably allergic to actual peanuts and they want to get some kind of spread-like stuff in their sandwiches. So ingredients on point is besides the palm kernel oil because that's a personal preference. I don't like how it's made, how it's created, how do we get it. Uh, I'd rather pay an extra five cents for them to use a different type of oil, but you know, everyone's to each their own. So would I buy this again? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. Is the nutrition on point? Yes. Ingredient on point? Yes, chewiness is the only problem with this, in my personal opinion. But that is to be expected for high dietary fiber kind of protein bars. And even though like when it comes to calories, if it's under like 300, it's a good snack. It's gonna be a better option than getting an actual piece of cake. Would you rather want a whole bar, which is gonna actually taste pretty close to the real thing, or uh, a big old slice of cake? Actually, if it's gonna be under 300 calories, it's gonna be Stinky. It's getting like dinky little piece of cake. It's not gonna be satisfying to you. And of course, people are gonna argue like, "Well, why don't our body crave sugar? So go get the real sugar." Here's the thing, people: our body may crave it. Doesn't mean we need it. There's a need. There's a want, and there's a need. We have to control that barrier. If we give into our wants, we're going to lose of what we actually need. Simple as that. So, hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you next time.